You know, a month ago, Syracuse basketball was a top 10 team flirting with a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Boy, what a difference a few weeks can make. After three straight losses, the Orange trying to get back in the win column. Cuse hosting DePaul on senior night at the Dome. Jerry McNamara in the house, former Cuse great. First points of the game right here for Cuse. Michael Carter Williams delivers. He does more than just pass, ladies and gentlemen. He can dunk. DePaul in the lead. Jamie Crockett. Hey, this one's for Davey. Long one for three. They lead by two later on in the half. But here comes C.J. Fair. You know, it's more than fair when this man can dunk as well. Cuse would pull away. Then Fair, he would get a nice one from deep. Orange break the losing streak. They rock 78 to 57. Hey, the Amara Jackals in action on the road at Wheeling tonight. They win by a score of 2 to 1 in a shootout. Get this, Jack Attack. They're 6 0 1 and 2 in their last nine. Keep up the great work there for the Jack Attack. College lacrosse scores from today. The 14th ranked Cornell women. They take care of Biz. 17-5 over Colgate. And hey, a bomber sweep for Ithaca College. The IC women rock Rochester 18-5. And the men top line crew on the road 11-7. Hey, update your schedules right now. Get out those pens. Elmira College men's lacrosse has been canceled for Saturday at Medale College due to the impending storm in the region. No make update has been announced just yet. EC back in action next Wednesday versus Sudi Oswego at Elmira Free Academy. For the first time since 2010, they're dancing. Elmira College women's hockey off to the NCAA tournament, and it feels more than good. The Soaring Eagles finished with a 21-5-1 record. Wow, that's pretty good. They received an at-large bid to the dance thanks to that. Even though EC lost to the ECAC West Finals, their body of work, well, that speaks for itself. Bowdoin College awaits Saturday in the first round, and for EC, getting here is exciting. It was just a great environment. Um, we haven't heard that news in a long time, so it was just... We knew that we had another chance and trying to take advantage of it this weekend. I was actually watching it in class, so <laughs> it's a little hard to focus, but I mean, just seeing our name come up. And last year we watched it and our name didn't come up, so it was just a good feeling. I'm very fortunate to have that opportunity to, to uh, live to see another day. And um, it's, a, it's a real special time for everyone involved. Uh, all the hard work over the course of the season has paid off. Best of luck to EC over the weekend. Hey, it's Pro Day for Syracuse football alums tomorrow at Manly Fieldhouse in Syracuse. A total of 13 players will partake and try to impress some of those pro scouts. That list is highlighted by quarterback Ryan Nassif, offensive lineman Justin Pugh, and safety Shamarco Thomas. Well, lots of talk for Notre Dame potentially joining the ACC conference early for basketball. But what about football? Well, that looks like it will stay the same. The Irish will join the conference in all other sports by 2014, except, yes, you guessed it, football. As for hoops, the ACC will allow ND to join the conference as soon as the summer, so pretty quick. And yeah, check it out. He is in the house. Our very own Josh gets up, made it to Puerto Rico. He'll be covering special sporting events for our company, Louie Broadcasting, all week long. And we're not a state with me. Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. <laughs>